How's it going everybody and welcome to Robot Wars Reborn. Now I wasn't going to do one of these face cam episodes so quickly after I did the last one, but the new twist I was planning to do on one of the episodes is actually taking a little too long to have it planned out for episode 6. So I'm going to push that back a couple episodes, we're going to do another one of these and another normal one, and then hopefully that's enough time for me to get ready the thing that I want to do. Uh, that I wanted to do for this episode that I'm not going to be ready to do. Doesn't matter, we're just, we're doing this right now, okay? So, yeah, uh, sorry about that. First up, let's go to Dan Tom Kia. So it seems like the series is starting out with a lot of flip bots, whether it's the front hinge or normal hinged, uh, flip bots. Yet again, we have another one here, and Dan Tom Kia was okay in the designing process. The body took a little bit of time to try and get everything to resemble the right size. I think I did okay in the end. The back isn't the best. It could have been better. Um, I, with every bot we've built so far, apparently, we've needed to add a bunch of the 40k ballast, whatever they are. He's 405! He's a very small heavyweight bot. So that was a problem that I really wish I didn't have to run into. Threw in two batteries, that wasn't a problem. Got a, got the flipper in without much trouble. It is rather long, so it's probably going to struggle. I haven't tested them out too much. And we also added a little square extender in the back because he's got something sticking out that tilts his angle a little bit. And it worked out pretty well besides the weight problem, I'd say. Oh. As if he's going to flip me. Are you serious? You can fuck right off. Like, please, actually fuck right off. Yep, there it is. I was just about to say he's gonna rip that off. Well, I've just been raped. Damn it. Big dog, just fuck off. You're just, you're a nuisance. You're just an annoying little pest that won't fucking go away. Just off. Okay, you, fuck, Raptor, fuck off. You realize I poker is hitting you in the back. Do you just not give a shit? What the fuck is your problem? You gotta do something about it. Fuck him up! Wait, we've got him. No, I poker you, savage! Hold it! Come on, five more seconds. Just wait patiently. He's not doing any damage. They're gonna. Yes! 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 We did it! Huh? Oi, that was a good flip, too! Dan Tom Kia to win the trophy. And the answer looks. Oh my god! Holy shit! And I guess that's how I'm gonna win, if he drives into the pit on his own merit. Thank you very much, little metal friend, you nubbed. Pit! Pit! Please! I need you! Yeah! <laughs> he got some air there too before he went in. Fuck off, you're gonna count me out. I'm trying to win the fight here. Yes! He's not the only one that does that. I can remember fire- oh my god. So that's all the recording for Dan Tom Kia. Now let's see how he checks out with the grade. So how accurate was the Dan Tom Kia recreation? Mmm, <laughs> it could have been better, I really think so. The appearance was pretty good, the body didn't seem to be correctly shaped in the back, but for the rest it was good, and the paint was actually, we were able to do kind of close to what he was, and everything else he really struggled. His record was 9-3 and three compared to 12-6 and six in real life, so that was pretty far off. The flipper struggled for the most part, though was able to get some kind of lifts, he moved kind of slowly and was just struggling to get around the box. So overall, it was not too good, and he gets a C. Also, we have a new category. I don't know if you noticed that. Probably should have pointed that out at the beginning. My bad. I'm sick of doing flippers, so next up we're going to have a spinner. It's a vertical spinner. It's Tornado! Maybe that's what happens when a tornado meets a tornado! I wish I could say Tornado was easy to design and build, but he just wasn't. Like, I mean, so obviously the body's pretty big as you can see. I wanted to make sure it was big enough so that we could get enough batteries in it for the operation. We needed four wheels to be inside the body, so they're all in and placed accordingly. Now, you're going to see immediately that I'm using a Redbird spin motor to control the saw because using one of those big HP motors let me bring it up here it just it was struggling and as you'll see when I line it up here in the red how far back that the connection point would have been you can see how far back the connection point would have been so 
The saw wasn't sticking out much at all, and that was one of the first problems we ran into. So I did the drum method that I did with Hypershock for the Battle Lost Reborn series in episode 19. Check that out on the channel. Also, the other problem I had, like with King Buxton, you couldn't make the body the right height so that the saw was thin enough it didn't hit the ground, and the wheels were big enough to make him both invertible on both sides. So the saw, especially when he's flipped the other way, will be hitting all the time, and it's it's just not going to work out very well. So I'm, I was better off using four spikes, but I didn't want to use that because that's boring for you guys. So this is what we got. Sorry, it's kind of shitty. Oh, I didn't clip that. You're a liar. Game, you are a liar. I mean, he was in it! This is bull! That's bullshit. Uh, that's game over. Come at me. You're an idiot! You dumb! You stupid! What's 9 plus 10? 21! You stupid! Come at me, bro! What are you gonna do, huh? Huh? What are you gonna do? What are you gonna do, huh? Huh? I see him getting counted out. I don't care. What are you gonna do? Hey! Got him! Break it off! Yes! Come on. Come on. One more big hit. One more big hit. Damn it, I lost the saw. It doesn't matter because I've lost so many parts already. That it's gonna be useless in the next fight. Boy, we can get that wheel. Just stop touching me, Snowjob, you son of a bitch! You can feel my wrath now, bitch. Fag. Hey, what you say, nigga? And he's just like, you know what? No. Snowjob! Oh my god, how do I always get caught in the middle? It just takes time to build a There, gotcha both. Gotcha both. Got you both! Yeah! Oh shit! Oh my god, emergency drove off! And Vic. Victory! Look, I have emergency! I have him! Help me! Help me! Gyroscope! Gyroscope! Okay, it didn't work. And I'm out! This has just been an awful experience. This whole episode has just been a struggle. Got him. Bye! Okay, so Hangy Baggy's done, Eye Poker's done, and Ronin's out. Okay, the only way we can win this Claw Top for bot fights, apparently. Well, this will be a fun one to grade, so let's just get through it quickly. So how well did we recreate the Series 6 champion? <laughs> Not well at all. Although the appearance was good, he struggled in just about every other category. The Saw did little to no damage. He won 50% of his fights, 6-6 six and six record, and he was just shit. Somehow, he was able to get a D, mainly because of his appearance being pretty good, but he probably could have gone worse. And that's the end of the video. Make sure you leave a like if you want to see more of the face cam and live reactions in the BattleBots Reborn or the Robot Wars Reborn series. Continue to suggest bots. Thank you for watching. See you next time. We tear ourselves and everyone else around us to pieces for that itch. Yeah. We claw with our fingernails for that itch. Because we know when we add up all those inches, that's gonna make the fucking difference between winning and losing!